The Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital is almost near completion. Can you believe this? They expect to admit their first patient by the end of this year. It is a state-of-the-art facility and fifth dedicated children's hospital in Africa, the fifth uh, children's hospital. To speak to us more about this, we've got Mary Jane Morifi, who is the global campaign lead for Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital. It is so good to see you. More Thanks importantly, you. it is so good to hear that you're almost near completion. Yep, we are nearly done. Uh, the construction will be finished in April. Wow, in April? In April. This is, this is huge because, I mean, you know, when I said to you, how many years are we away from it now? And you looked at me and said, what do you mean? April is today. Yes. So you're saying by yes. the end of April it should by be completed. By the end of April, the envelope will be completed. We then start with the equipment and we, we start also with the things that I like, making it a real children's hospital. Yes, yes. Yeah? I mean, just making it kiddie friendly yes. and the wallpaper, the TVs, the little toys. The benches, toys. the toys, the murals on the walls and bringing color and Beautiful. vibrancy. At the end of the day, how, how many kids are we hoping to serve in this hospital? Uh, the hospital itself will have uh, 200 beds. It has the potential to grow to 300 beds. We will see on average, uh, I would say, about 4,000 kids, uh, but we can only admit uh, 200 children. And in the quaternary tertiary level, so it's mainly going to be a surgical hospital okay. uh, and covering a gap that is currently not being uh, uh, addressed fully uh, within the uh, healthcare sector for children in particular. Yeah, I mean, we talk I'm looking at the numbers here. You, you're expected to employ 150 doctors and 451 pediatric nurses. Yes, yes. How, how's the? I mean, have you already earmarked who you want? Have has that process begun? We we knew that we were going to need uh, this level of uh, human resources uh, to start the hospital, and therefore we started training two years ago uh, through the support and generosity of the National Skills Fund. We were able to access funding that allowed us to train for pediatric specialist nurses. South Africa. Africa is very good at training general nurses, but we don't do the specialism. So we uh, use that funding to train the pediatric nurses, but also to train the fellows who are going to be the experts and the uh, professionals dealing with uh, the surgical aspects of the hospital. You know, we talk about the funding, and I know that we went on a, on a massive campaign yes. along with you. I mean, you guys yeah. are obviously doing the most of it, but as media partners, we try to assist you. The funding now was, I mean, you obviously reached your goal. It's, it's or are we still asking? Not quite, not, not yet. quite. Okay. We are still asking. This is a billion rand uh, project, uh, which started in 2014. Yeah. Uh, I think sometimes we forget that the ground, we broke the ground on the 22nd of April 2014, not so long ago. No. 18 months to build this project and 18 months to raise the billion rand required. And through the generosity of South Africans, individuals, corporates, international and local partners, we were able to at least get just above a, a 800 million. We still have a way to go. So there's, there's is that 200 million yes. I mean just to take viewers minds back I mean you may remember and it may have been you may have been watching you may have picked up the phone we held a telethon here on morning live on that day that Madiba passed away and you know I mean that was I just think that was such a sobering day for yeah. all of us and yeah. here we are these years later and we're ready to open almost in terms of in terms of, of the the children being admitted into this hospital mm -hmm. Is this in a way, I mean, are, are you going to be offering some free medical care or is it as usual? I mean, obviously on a medical aid and paid for. No, no. This is, this is a public hospital that is done for indigent South Africans. We are always very strong in saying no child will, turn, will be turned away if they require the services just because the parents are not able to pay. So we are assuming that 80% of the children who will come to seek our services will not be paying for the services, wow. which requires us to do the fundraising to ensure that that service continues to be provided. I'm going to ask you just to look at the screen quickly. Is this where we're at with the building and the construction of the hospital? Oh, no, it looks even much better so than that. We've I'm done the landscape and you're not looking at current oh, photographs. Okay, we've got to get current <laughs> photographs on this one. So, I mean, that was, that was then and we're that talking then, now. Yes. Landscaping done, building we've up. Equipment to go in. Yes, yes, yes. I'm so happy. I yeah. really, really yeah. am. And I just cannot wait for that day when you open your doors and we open for business to look after the children of South Africa and Africa. Yes. Because this is for serving it's children for Africa as well. As yes, well. yeah. Brilliant. Yes. Mary Jane, thank you so much for being with us here on the program. Mary Jane Morifi from the Nelson Mandela Children's Hospital, which expects its first patient by the end of the year, expects to be open by the end of this month, in fact. Uh, open for business. I mean, is that just not an incredible story? I'm so happy to report on it. All right, let's quickly take a break. We have got...